Ladies and gentlemen, as you already, as you already know, as of right now, that is, I'm doing the presentation on David Papineau, Knowing the Score, a look at philosophy and sport. Now, David Papineau, that is, he is a philosopher, a philosophy professor that is at London, at universities of London and New York. He's also a bit of a sports fanatic himself, or he's the fact that he's obsessed with sports, well, and, and also also know that he's he's like actually much more into. It. He wants people like me like much more into the sports realm that is, and some people are probably not though. But as you already know though, that with it, with, I mean, he's obsessed with more like the standard of sport, not just not just actual sports, but just like the actual the moral standards of sports and. Quite frankly, he's he's played like numerous sports during his lifetime. Like maybe for example, basketball, football, baseball, cricket, soccer. That is baseball and hockey. But where that came around, you know, the straddles that is came around. You know, there were time there were times that is there the straddles and the western trolls during like the nineteen sixties though of high jumping that is. Well, really, it shows you exactly how this a little goes, how this, you know, a bit goes in depth, though, because usually I'm the one that's been doing the, I'm the one that's been doing all the sports, sports stuff all over the, my YouTube channel, that is, and I record this, and I put this stuff on my, uh, Khalil the Highlight Sports Report page, which is my second Facebook page, though, by the way, though. So Papineau realizes, though, that all this sports fandom, it really starts, it really tends to, like, get in the way of, what we want to do these days, or what we want to accomplish, or what we, and how exactly we want to, you know, be committed to this, though. But a, a team's success, that is, gives a whole lot of meaning to some existence, though. But, you know, a lot of us individuals, we're a lot of us, some, some people are sports addicts, and the other half of them are not, though. Some people don't, they don't watch, you know, college football, NBA, or... NFL, but really, they just help. But sports will help us conquer the self versus of a dichotomy, though. But it's a bit of a biological drive in our own. It's a bit of a biological drive in during our own genes, though. So real, so really, guys, us fans and sports and many sports athletes out there, we find it. We find ourselves as like red collectibles, though. So I mean. If you got a, if you got if you got any team that you're rooting for, whether it's of your favorites from the past, whether it's college football, NBA to NFL, to maybe oh college football, that's a definitely one. College football, the playoffs, that is when you, you and you're gonna see the playoffs. So come uh, January like eighth, that is college football semifinals. But it really shows you exactly what who your team you're gonna root for. You know. It can happen in any day, given day, whether you want this one team to win and whether you want that team to win. But people sometimes, they place their votes in or just their plain old bids, just knowing if, whether or not this team is actually going to go with Because if, if they place their bid and that team to actually get the win, you know they'll win the title. You know for sure they'll be wealthy again. If that team does not get the win, if or excuse me, if, the, if that individual team does not get the win, that is, then they're going to be broke for sure. Like for example, you know Clemson and Alabama, and then you'll see Georgia and Oklahoma though. But those are examples right there. That's what people are pr probably referring to though. And you pretty much would pick would pick one of those two teams that would like main event the twenty eighteen college football championship though. By the way, and that's pretty and that's pretty good good though because Dave Papineau that is he sort of tends to figure out what choices what what sort of which team that we would prefer to actually like win it all. To win the college football championship, to win the Super Bowl, to win the NBA Finals, to win the Stanley Cup Finals, but really, it's he's gotten to that. He's really gotten to that point, though. So you gotta you gotta pay close attention to that, though. And a lot of people, a lot of us, that is, we we sort of we're sort of dialed into it, though. We just couldn't figure out who who's gonna place their bid in. We just couldn't figure out who's gonna get the big win, or if if we're right or if we're wrong. But there are, but the ends really don't justify the means. Determine exactly. Who do you think has a fifty fifty chance of like actually like winning and all taking the taking that taking that championship though? But really, 
makes no difference. If that team wins, then we all just win anyway, though. But it's just it's just plain and simple. Now a lot of us, a lot of us that is, if we're watching like huge games, like during pre games or during like during like big games, like college football championships and the Super Bowl, that is, we sometimes go into like you know tailgating, partying, going after parties to see all these huge games, or we just like watch it, you know, on demand, or we're just going. Or we just take a trip over the over there to like win tickets to see the, these huge games, which a lot of us are like really into though. It's it's just real. It's really tough though, just knowing exactly as to where he's trying to take us. But it really, but it's it's really in our genes because it, it's, it's it's what drives us the most. But he has. But you got to realize though that in the sports industry, you got to know who you're gonna pick. You can see the college football, you can, I mean, doing like the college football rankings, they change a lot. They change pretty fast. And well, it's obvious though that right here on Dave Papineau, the the philosophy of sport, the uh, look at philosophy and sport that is, he really starts to, you know, David Papineau that is, starts to dive in just determining whose side, of the, whose side of the bargain we're on. It's, and it's only a matter of time though as to whether or not Who's got the upper advantage? And you know they got to think of who's got to think of a big team. Who's got to think of the team? But football players or quarterbacks, they will assist to some um, t- to their teammates. That is, they can find open lanes. That is, rather just like scoring themselves. They are a bit agile. And they and if, if any team that has like the worst record, you know they're not going to be in the playoffs and they're not going to be in the championship rounds. They're not getting the heads in the game. They're just not focused or just a little frustration that gets in there. So just needs a little momentum, though. A Papineau, that is, he maintains fair play. And every sport that is, whether it's, whether it's college sports or professional sports, that is, well, they got their own sort of, they have their own sort of aspects of, like, you know, a fair play. And he says, though, it's the next it's, Necessary for some rugby players to step on the other to stop on the other stop on the other opponents when the refs never catch it though. And sometimes for footballers like dive because the, the the absolute morality that is we shouldn't we shouldn't necessarily be complaining about it or just conf- we shouldn't like confess about it. In tennis though, you don't see this happening in tennis though. You know guys like Roger Federer, Roger or Rafael Nadal, they don't get upset though. They had some hard fought matches and some good robberies though, but they just put the difference aside to stay focused on the game. And Papineau, oh yes, here's this one right here. Now David Papineau, that is, and he also states that American grilling circuit, the American barbecuing circuit, that is, or grilling circuit, what it is like more of an is an actual sport. I don't know about that one though. Not philosophy, but see like. Now philosophers, that is, they understand that's important, though. Just you gotta like at least get your head in the game. You gotta at least prevent. You gotta avoid distractions, cause enough of the interruptions. And they call in the coaches. They call timeouts. And some of the NCAA sports, that is, the amateur because they tend because they're they're always the ones playing with fire. And the fact that they're not, and the fact that some of these um, their coaches, they don't, they they refuse to pay their um, college recruits or college athletes. Much much like, oh yes, much like the scandal, the NCAA scandal that's been going on this FBI probe. You know, four college NCAA coaches they got arrested and they got charged with corruption and fraud. That is, and that led to disaster. And that's a big thing. And that's really, and that was like. A couple, few months ago, that is, a lot of people were just living about it and understand that college is it is a big, a big concern for a lot of people out there and for the NCAA. But I think that, um, but I think that paying too much, that some of these coaches, they're not getting as much. They're not getting as much as they bargain for. They're the ones, you know, tend to have all the guap themselves. They're always the ones getting, having these college students. That is. 
or some of these college athletes pay their coaches. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, NCAA, you know, all the colleges are they are expensive out there, and mostly this is affected a lot of college students out there. I mean, I wouldn't say Nova. Oh no, I wouldn't say that though, because but some of the expensive college football, some of these college NCAA colleges, like in state or the out of state colleges, they get a little expensive though. And I will say though that Rick Pitino, you know, former Louisville college basketball coach, he got fired though, despite the um, the FBI probe and the and some of the charges against him and some of these um scandals that he's been in. So that so that led him out. So that led him out though. So he's already been done for. He's fired. He doesn't have a career in there no more. So that right there leads to disaster. So basically, it's never it's not necessary for a student for you know coaches like NCAA coaches out there as in college basketball coaches. So they obviously play with fire, and and stop like paying and stop getting paid so much. And all this, all this fraud and corruption, it's it sort of gets in the way though. But that's what sometimes colleges are these days. But you know, that was that's that's a bit of a difference maker right there though. So basically, that's just simmer down. So sport, it's got no it's got no meaning to it. And a lot of people were sort of uh we sort of have a lot of adrenaline for it. That there's no meaning to it. But sometimes it causes problems that no one can control any. Can can't control these days, but sports, but sports, they do have meaning these days. There's integrity. There's there's decency. There's passion for it. We got for physical performance, and it, and it also entangles with the human nature, though. You know, getting slam dunks, hitting home runs, scoring touchdowns, making three pointers. They're they're actually like virtuous itself though. And and it's, but it's for our is oh it's it, but it's for our own independence though. It's for our own benefit though. We're independent on that. But it's just for our own good though. So basically, we tend to enjoy staying in two with sports though. So I mean, Dave Papineau, however, he sort of wants us to think that we tend to actually, you know, take a liking take a liking to some sports that we watch into. Like it, it doesn't matter if it's hockey, what matters if baseball, what it matter if it's the NBA or college basketball or college football though. But a lot of people we're dialed into it for sure. And we're the ones that are like subscribing to it, we're buying to it though. So basically guys, I understand that this is a good great great opportunity though. But I know a lot of you guys can stay in tune for this for sure though. But you can check out Dave Papineau's knowing the score, what sports can teach us about philosophy and what philosophy can teach us about sports. You can check out the book on Google. You can check it out on Google. Check out the images. You can follow it on Google Books. You'll see a whole list, you know, the focus. You'll see the chapters in the, the focus. Where the um, yeah, the focus, maybe the, the drills or anything like that in particular though, but you'll you'll see the chapters that are gonna be in there, and it goes and it goes a little in depth though, but you can you can buy the book off of Amazon or you can buy it off of Google Play that is or just Google Books, and you can check out the chapters on Google though if necessary though. So basically, you'll be more interested in that though. But take care, you guys. You guys have a good day, and it's gonna be really good to see how things are gonna turn out though. Bye-bye.